I work with men because I design buildings. Most buildings are 300 million naira and above, most of our buildings. In this society, men are the ones who usually have that kind of money, is it? Therefore, men talk to me and will tell me things like, we don't want our wives to know, but we like independent women. Don't tell my wife, oh. But we actually like when women are independent. The guys in the room, is it true? Eh? They said so true. They are green. But they didn't tell you at home, but because we're in the presence of the Holy Ghost, they have to tell the truth. I'm coming. You know, this is your husband who said don't work when you're at home. I'm going somewhere. You see, men don't understand what women mean by love. Am I telling the truth, guys? Love. But they understand respect. Ah, if you like, don't love me. Just respect me. That's a guy. So the same thing he wants from you is what he can give you. So when your husband respects you, he truly loves you. Forget all those, he didn't give me a card, he didn't give me a flower. Then they chop him. <laughs> a man wants a woman. Let me tell you that if anything happens to him, he knows that his children will be okay. The guys in the house, do I have your word? Yeah. But they won't say it. That what the guy is really afraid of is not you having money. He is afraid of you becoming unsubmissive. It's not the money that is disturbing him. It's disturb what you see, the pastors are agreeing. Men of God are agreeing. That what they don't want is that when you, they say one, because you have money, you say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But a truly submissive woman understands that submission is different from obedience. Pastor Amos has heard me say it before. Obedience is when you have no choice. You do it. Submission is you have what it takes. But you decide because of proper spiritual order that you are dropping what you have in the name of peace. So humility is really knowing where you are from. So if you are a prince, you are very humble to say I'm a prince. Do you see? It's not pride. If I am a prince, there's nothing wrong in saying I'm a prince. I'm a prince. And I carry myself that way. Do you get it? If you're brilliant and you're brilliant, it's not lack of humility. It's not humility to say I cannot solve that problem when you can solve it. It's stupidity. There's a difference between humility and stupidity. In fact, the Bible says that Jesus Christ in John chapter 13, knowing that he came from God, he knew his origin. Two, knew his destination, knowing that he is returning to God. He stripped himself of the clothes because he doesn't need designer wear to be who he is. He's the one who validates all the Le Boutin and the Louis Vuitton. It is not them that validates him. Without the brand, he's very fine. Without the Brazilian, he's okay. So he took it all off, stripped himself and guarded himself and washed his disciples' feet. That is true humility. And you can only be humble when you are truly secure. Insecure people are very proud. It does not matter if they are calling you ma. Uh, please. They are proud. Your boss said, It's not, that's the frustration. It's not manners. They're just using it to chop you. <laughs> and what a man is worried about is not your having money, is your being submissive. Good. And you are submissive because God has asked for the submission and there no two heads in any ship and as a wise woman you know that right i'll give you a final example on this matter okay if no i have time don't worry <laughs> okay <laughs> if for instance uh, my husband says to me you you you, you I, I say to you i want to travel and he says um my dear i don't want you to go in you know on october 15 because i have some things i want you to see too and i said okay i'll wait I'm submitting. It's very different from, he says, I don't want to go on October 15. I don't have the money. I meet you, I look, and I don't have the money. I say, I will stay. I just obeyed. Mm -hmm. I'm not submitting. If I had the money, I would have gone. Mm -hmm. You are getting it. Mm -hmm. So you see that many times, people are just obeying you. They are guys. They're not really submitting yet. Test them with a little money, then the true nature will come out of that submissive woman. Reminds me of one... Um, Worry boy called Akos. And um, the teacher said, Akos, stand up. Akos just sat down there that make me stand up. 
He sat. The teacher said, Akbos, stand up. Akbos sat down there. The teacher took the cane, gave Akbos, why? Akbos stood up. The teacher said, say, you see, you stand there, you stand. Akbos said, hmm, 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 teacher. True, true. For outside, I, I, I thunder. For inside, I sit. <laughs> so a lot of people you think are submissive. Inside, they are sitting. They are waiting for the day money will touch their hand. Then you will know. But have your own and still remain submissive. That's what I'm trying to say. Have your own and still remain submissive. <laughs>